All right, bro. Yo, Marcus just left gang, so we got the pan on there right quick. What's cracking, y'all? It's your little homie. Elko Warren, and you know I'm up in the rock shop. Wrenching, y'all better not be sleeping. Yeah, man, you see it's a beautiful day out in the hood. We out, look at this beautiful, beautiful Moreno Valley, y'all. Up in the rock shop. Got my man, Young Marcus, over here. He came through. Well, he came through so we could, uh, we tearing, we tearing the whole motor apart. Elko, why would you do that to a crate motor? We got to put the pan on, y'all. Let me show you. This is the stock pan right here. They're pretty close. Same height, everything, but it's that front piece game right here. That's gonna be the issue. It's just a little bit. I can't turn it over because I well, you know what I could do, game. Shit. One-handed, y'all. One-handed. There we go. Shit. Sorry, y'all. I don't I don't do editing. Y'all gonna get it live and direct. There it is. See the difference? This is gonna help me clear the cross member. See how far up that is? Now Marcus was saying, man, yeah, if you handy with it, you could uh, notch out the pan or you can notch the frame out to get that clearance. And I've seen a lot of the MalibuRacing.com, those a lot of those race head dudes, that's what they'll do, especially when they go to rack opinion steering. They add this K member bar or whatever. But this is not the Holly Pan gang. I didn't want to do the Holly Pan this time because Holly nickel and dimes the fuck out of you. Excuse my language, but they do. This is the TSP pan. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm hoping that this is going to work out. It looks exactly like my Holly pan, the uh, 302-2 pan, the second one that they came out. Same everything, except it doesn't have a Holly brand right here. This is made in China like their shit too. I bet you it was out of the same warehouse. But there it is, gang. So what we're going to do is we're going to slap this on. Then we're going to slap... Uh, package thanks then we're gonna slap this uh and drop this thing up in the elko man and hopefully it'll work out all right y'all fading it out all right bro yo marcus just left gang so we got the pan on there right quick this is all just a mock-up this is the real block but we're just gonna set it in here i'm gonna put the uh i'm gonna i'm gonna cinch everything down like my homeboys would say dude cinch it so i'm gonna cinch everything down so it's as if it's the final deal so then nothing's kind of teeter-tottering. I want to see how this is going to sit in here with this pan. This is a Holly knockoff TSP pan. I'll leave a link in the uh, description for it. So there it is, gang. We uh tearing into it and swapping parts over. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Fading it out. And we fading it back on in with your little homie. And you know we in the rock shop. All right, gang. It's the next day, man. I was out here late with the young homies, man. They had me out here late, messing around with stuff, and it is a hot mess. Sunday, man. Ooh wee! It's like I clean up, and then boom, it's all right back. That's what happens, man. When you're in the lab, it got out here. I was out here pretty late, man, and all kind of mosquitoes and stuff was was eating me up. So I kind of just threw everything in here and uh, ran in the house. They chased me out, but yeah. So we out here today, man. I gotta get this cleared out, gang. We are at, oh my God, picked up those SS seats. My boy came through, Elko Marcus. He came through and uh, we did a swap. I had another set of uh, SS seats and uh, he didn't want to mess around with trying to figure out how to get these in. So I went ahead and said, hey man, I got time, cuz I got time. <laughs> so uh, we went ahead and swapped it. I threw in a center console and a bread box and y'all know, Y'all know the, the bread box, the bread box seat and center combo. Shit, that's big money now in the G-Body community. So young bro came up. Uh, I've been wanting these forever. So now, uh, you know, the grind starts. We'll be uh, figuring out how to get those in. It's the uh, driver's side that causes the problem. So we'll get it all figured out. That's what I like to do, man. You know, if it take a year to figure it out, I'm going I'm to I'm do it. So plus you see where the SS is, man. But yeah, gang, so I got to get this all cleared out, man, and uh, ready to go because I got some uh, more packages coming. We got the uh, tuck bumpers 
for this right here, this demonstration. Ha <laughs> I sound like my man. I got some uh, tuck bumpers coming today. They were finished up. My man, JP Automotive, is coming through. Josh Prather, he's coming through. He's going to hand deliver them. So they make them, and he's delivering them himself. That's what I'm talking about, customer service right there. And you see this right here. That's what I've been waiting for. We got the filler. We'll be able to get back on this. So be on the lookout for those videos. But right now, gang, what I'm going to do is uh, get back after this, get all this stuff pulled out. And then uh, we're going to get back on the tear down of that guy and uh, get it moving, man. So I got to move all this stuff out, start cleaning up, take the motor mounts off of this motor and just place them on that. Put the uh, Holly set up over here. Grab the hoist, lift it, drop it up in here and keep it moving. And so what we're doing is we're trying to test the oil pan that I picked up. We already took off the stock one and had to take the pickup tube off because it's, it's orientated, it's different. So we got it on there and uh, there it is gang. So that's what we gonna do. We gonna get after it, finish it on the, all right y'all, fade Back it in gang, all right, check it out. So on this one, we got them in. I didn't want to bore you guys with all that. So basically what we're doing, gang, is we are doing the mock-up now. Uh, we, we, even though we're with the rail block now, we're still in mock-up because this oil pan, uh, we want to see if it's going to fit. So we are going to drop them in. And this time around, I got these installed correctly. The instructions really didn't mention that. And I started looking and it hit me. The, when I was first trying to do it, this pin was on this side so it wouldn't let the the uh, other mount engage correctly so we got them in went ahead and tightened everything up and uh now we're gonna go get the uh, hoist and we're gonna go on ahead and drop that thing in so i'm gonna fade it on now and get it cracking all right and we back in gang so man i gotta be careful because there was a big ass black widow right in here it's probably right there too waiting for me but uh that's what happens when you leave your shit all outside. Yeah, man. So, all right. We uh, got it on the hoist. Got it situated. We're going to slide it around. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, man, is I'm just going to leave the whole front clip off. It, it, this is easier than going all the way up and over. You feel me? I'm going to do the same thing with that one. I'm going to take the whole front clip off when we yank the motor out. <laughs> it's just easier. Uh, now, I wish this was turned around the other way, which I might get the homies to help me with. But all right, y'all, that's what we're going to get after right now. All right, gang, we got them up in there. Uh, with this pan, there's one area. You can see it right, see my finger? Right there. I'm going to shave that down just a touch. They probably beefed it up right there because of the, uh, you see, you got the bung welded in. Uh, let me get that to focus. Uh, you got the, the bung welded in, and they may have dropped that down a little bit, so I'm going to. I mean, it's barely, it's just kissing it. But you know, with the motor going back and forth and all of that, uh, if, if it if the motor tilts back or forward, it doesn't make a difference. It's going gonna, it's gonna to touch you. So I'll probably shave a little bit down on the frame with my uh, Diablo uh, sanding disc and then shave some off of that, and we'll be good there. So, But plenty of clearance up underneath here, plenty of clearance up underneath. I don't see there would be an issue with the steering because I mean this is tucked up higher than the uh, than the uh, harmonic balancer. Plenty of room up underneath here, and then when you get back here, it's higher than the cross member by at least by at least a maybe not a half inch, but it's like almost level. Plenty of room and plenty of clearance back here, man. They could have actually brought it up some. You feel me? Uh, and then shave that down some. But this is a pretty dope pan, man. Uh, especially if you're a turbo dude. You feel me? So, uh, but this is with the Holly setup. So I don't see this pan being a problem with the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, clamshell setup. You feel me? I don't see it being a problem with that. Setback plates pretty much mount in the same spot. I may take the motor back out and, uh, and try it with those, but that's a lot of work. I don't feel like doing. But yeah, gang, so for the Holly setup, this TSP pan 
Looks like it's gonna work. Just a little bit of clearancing. You know, if you want all Holly, man, the Holly is, uh, you know, by the time you're done, you're gonna be about 540 bucks into an oil pan because you gotta get this, you gotta get that, you gotta get this. Uh, this was 250 shipped. And like I said, the benefits if you're a turbo dude, you know, just a little bit of clearancing. I think this is worth it, man. Uh, we'll see how it, you know, I'll report back. We got the mounts in there correctly. Everything is looking good. Uh, yeah, everything's looking good, man. So I'm going I'm to button this on up. The next thing I'm going to do, gang, is uh, put on the uh, steering linkage and see how we clearance there. I don't see a problem with it, though. You see where that pan is. The pan is way up here. So I don't think there's going to be an issue there. All right, y'all, fading it up. And we right back in with your little homie, Elko Ron. All right, y'all. Yesterday, I was wiped out. I mean, I was literally two hours of sleep, back up on stuff all day, man. The big homie, Josh Prather from JP Automotive, came through. He dropped off my tuck bumpers for me. So things are moving right along on this uh, Elko project. You know, we got the uh, digi tail lights in. All of that stuff is ready to go. My boy... Elko Marcus, he dropped off the uh, Dremel for me. I had a really nice Dremel. I lent it out and forgot who I lent it out to. Never got it back. But he brought his over so I can do it. I was trying to set these up like my other old 2010 style. You just basically would separate the back and then pop the boards in and then glue it all together. With the DigiTales, you don't do it that way. Uh, I was hoping I could get it to work, but the boards are hella wide. And I do not want to trim them boards. So... The way you do the, the digitail setup, you got to take off these. So you need the Dremel to cut this off, and then the digitail goes on the on the back of there. You feel me? So, But, yeah, so we're going to be doing some, some trimming and cutting here soon and getting that cracking. Uh, but, yeah, back on this, gang, this was an, uh, a win-win. It uh, It's official. It's all good. Everything is straight. Yesterday, I was going to put the, uh, the other... Uh, spindle on and put the whole steering linkage on but i really don't need to those that pan is tucked up so high there's not going to be any issues with the uh, front steering you know equipment there no issues at all uh i'm actually thinking man that this pan i did not really need to get this pan i'll find out when i drop the uh 525 up inside the the monte carlo on that frame but uh I got so much room in there, man. I think the other pan would have cleared. They're just as tall. Uh, so this, you know, this isn't a truck motor. This is a real LS3. Uh, so the, the truck isn't tall like the uh, like the uh, truck pans. So it's tucked up nice and high. But the problem area would have been right here up against the uh, cross member. But I think, man, that that cross member clearance is good on that pan. And we'll find out. I was going to lift this pan up, put the other pan back on, drop it back down. But honestly, man, I'm ready to move on to this now. And uh, this is a, a success. I, I'm good to go on that whole situation, man. So we'll be getting the flex plate for it next. Uh, headers. The headers are definitely coming next. I think that's next on the hit list, man. I'm going to uh, cop that and keep it moving there yeah keep that moving on that and uh but yeah gang so i don't want to bore you guys too much longer man i gotta figure out where the hell this motor is gonna go i think what's gonna end up happening is that that's just the mock-up block is nothing so we're gonna and i'm not gonna use that pan for anything it's just for mock-up uh i'm gonna take my intake off set it back up in this home and uh, that's it, man. And I'll probably use that stand to hold this block. I'll get on that uh, probably tomorrow morning when I wake up. But there it is, gang. So be on the lookout. Uh, I think the fifth edition, the fifth video is what I'll be on for this. So we're going to, we got the chemicals in. We got the cleaners in. We got the etching should be here. Uh, and I got the actual stuff I need to fill in all of this and smooth the firewall. That's all in as well. So be on the lookout for that, gang. But anyway, man, I don't want to bore you guys too much longer. Let me take a step back. That is a clean look, man. Whew. I must be a good little wrencher because uh, zero-mile crate motor straight from GM Performance. 
Wow, LS 376 525 gang. This is going to be fun as hell in this motor, especially with all the suspension mods that we got going on here. Let me go back here, man, for anybody that might be new. Let me show you what we got working. My camera is hot right now, so I can't, you can't really see, but you see, we got that Pro Tour bar. We got the uh, Vikings here, double adjustable guys right there from Spawn. We got the uh, double adjustable uppers. We got the UMI bar. Hey, this is going to be a solid, solid little build, man. I also, I have the bags up in here, but we took those out for this Elko project over here. So I had those bags and those springs, but we took all that stuff out. So all my original suspension, all my cleaned up suspension and Hotchkiss and all that stuff, you can see the chrome front uh, hollow sway bar. That is a dope sway bar, by the way. It is thick as hell, but you can pick it up with your pinky because it's hollowed out. That's the... Uh, this one from Spawn and the UMI bars, same thing, thick. But those are solid, heavy as fuck. That right there is ridiculously light. I wish I could keep it, but it's chromed and she wants it. So there it is. But like I was saying about that pan, I think this pan would have worked. I think it would have cleared the uh, cross member. We'll find out soon. But anyway, gang, it's your boy, Elko Warren, up in the, I'm sorry, y'all, messy ass rock shop. Doing what I like to do best, y'all, and let's keep it Chevy.